Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to episode 3 of our Huangshao Legendary Let's Play. We pick it up from turn 9 in the spring season of the year 192. And if we zoom back into the map here, we can see that we left off last episode by destroying Liu Bei's faction here in Dong. And we have our main army right over here as we try to go back to stay on target as we want to take control of all of the Shandong Peninsula over here by removing Kongrong first. But unfortunately, we are still surrounded by enemies from all sides as Tao Tian's army have now uh, come off from Longya. Uh, he marched quite a long way to come after us. It's not a very strong force, but I'm still a little bit worried whether our garrison here at the Iron Mine can handle them. Uh, it's a very decent garrison. You have Man of the Forest, Yellow Turban Horsemen, and Yellow Turban Spearmen. These are all uh, medium units, pretty elite units, I would say. Um, so we could just let the garrison do its job against this army, uh, or we can turn our army around to destroy them first. Uh, but I'm still also a little concerned over here because Koron has stopped expanding east, and instead his whole army is now stationed inside of Beihai. Now if we look at his movement range, it seems like he can't reach our uh, commandery of Taishan in one turn. So maybe it will give us the time to finish them off, which will be nice. Uh, but we're going to debate that a little bit later. Uh, over here in Dong, we have our two uh, general station here. He was kind of on construction duty. And we summoned the healer here uh, because, as you can see, Yuan Shao's army has also taken over the farmland that used to be ours from across the Yellow River. So now we have to plan a pretty cheap defensive force here in the city. And the garrison, once again, is pretty decent, uh, but we can definitely supplement it with, let's say, a whole army of archers uh, to help defend the city. Um, also, I learned that healers can recruit shield units. Uh, these, I guess, are similar to the spear guards. Uh, who have 45% range block chance. I don't see formations being an option here, so that kind of sucks, but uh, these will definitely do the trick against archers, so I kind of want these in our main army. We put Guan Hai over here, uh, kind of as a reward for his performance against Guan Yu in our epic showdown, uh, but he's a veteran just like Pei Yuan Shao, so we kind of have two veterans here, so we don't really know what to do with his retinue. Right now we're just sticking to archers, but obviously if you look at this army here, it's quite weak. It's just a very cheap army of wolf with archers with really no front line. So we kind of have to rely on city garrisons when we do the fighting. So that's another reason why I don't think we can just go directly attack Beihai, right? We have that option, but I don't think it's a good one. Um, first thing first, uh, we got our new reform. We finished up this reform right here that gave us extra campaign movement range. And because we went up a uh, faction rank, we're now balanced. We have this whole second section unlocked as well. And if we take a look between the three scrolls, they're quite similar in their setup. Uh, the reform on the top left will be one that provides 15 points in enlightenment, which is quite a bit, and also unlocks one unit. So for example, this one here will unlock the Vernable Wu, which has poison weapons, good at flanking, causes fear. Uh, sounds really awesome, actually. Uh, but as you can see, it has 60 men in the unit, so it's half the size of a regular uh, retinue because of its special abilities. And as you can see in the second section, we also have an archer unit, Bringer of Righteousness. Uh, these guys are just better at melee than regular archers. The damage is not so impressive, so I don't think we'll be going for these. And then in the last section, we have a crossbow unit, Watchman of the Peace. Uh, also a little bit better in melee. Probably not going to go for these as well, even though they have great armor piercing and range damage. I think these are just the standard uh, crossbow replacement for the yellow turbans. And then the second reform is one that provides some sort of passive bonus. So public order here, mustering term bonus and replenishment, and food from farming. The middle one gives one special uh, assignment to the character class that's corresponding to the scroll. So here we have the scholar, which correlates with the heaven scroll. Uh, it gives an assignment that increased character and unit experience, also increased satisfaction for scholars, uh, likewise for healers and likewise for veterans. That uh, The assignment does something a little different, but um, I'm not very interested in getting assignments right now. 
and then the last two unlocks buildings so this uh, both unlock level four buildings uh, same thing here it's buildings and counties so basically most of the building upgrades are basically held by these um, reforms here i don't think we need to worry about level four buildings at this point we could look for some reforms in the first section as well because as you can see the turn timing four turns for the first section and at our current 120 percent research rate uh, these will take five turns so i'm kind of leaning towards still researching uh the first section because there's still some nice bonuses like this one that i kind of want to get before we move forward um, in terms of units i actually am looking for some shield units as frontline reclaimer feels really nice these guys actually look like spear guards 50 percent range block chance which is good a little bit slow but it doesn't matter because they're going to be frontline troops uh horseback archers i not a not a not very i don't like them that much because they require a lot of microing uh these are nice now uh, these are worthless uh, Chander is interesting. We could probably implement them in our army a bit later. Still learning all the yellow turban units, so I'm not sure how we should approach this. I like this one the best right now, just because it'll, it's a bonus that we can enjoy going forward as we expand. We're probably going to be building a lot of peasant and labor housing. So let's get this one out of the way. And let's go back over here. We're going to recruit cheap archers. Because our faction bonus has gives us an archer discount. So only 34 upkeep per unit. Very efficient to use them on defense. Uh, should be okay. There's a front line from the city garrison and we have walls. So I doubt uh, Yuan Shao's army can take us. Even though this is not a bad army. Over here, I think our decision should just be attack Tao Tian first and then go back on defense. Even if we have to march back, we can handle it. I think we can reach them with a new movement buff. So let's take care of this army first. Oh, we can't reach them? That's that's not good. Uh, that's not good. Oh well, we can't do anything about that right now. Uh, if he wants to attack, at least we'll have a second army here. And I think we can still, you know, reach back if Kornon decides to march this way. Let's see if there's anything we can build. We only have 800 gold, so I don't know if we can actually build anything. Nope, we can't build anything. That's fine. Our economy is very healthy at 100, 1,500 gold per turn. Um, so let's continue. We're looking for more healers. There's a healer right here, but he's weak. The only reason we kept him is for... Why did we keep him? That's actually a good question. Why did we keep this guy? Yeah, I don't know why we kept him. We probably could get rid of him. He doesn't actually bring us any bonuses. Like, he brings us 6% commerce. Alright, we'll keep him right now. We we'll, might get rid of him a little bit later. We need to give these guys some things to, some things to do. Or else they're going to be pretty mad at us. Until we get satisfaction up. Uh, which, there's plenty of reforms to do that as well. So, let's continue. All right, Han faction, Han Fusong has died and succeeded by, I'm assuming, his wife. We got a new mission. Uh, we completed the mission because we have 30 units now, recruited uh, 10 units of archers over there. We got a two-handed mace, which we already have one. Yeah, let's see if we get any new missions. We don't. We'll get a relationship choice. Um, I think Zhuge Nan is the construction guy over there. We'll, we'll let him build up his relationship because we're keeping him for sure he has such a nice skill unlocked that if we give him if we get him to improve his relationship with the leader that i'm assuming his oh he already went up ready became pupil okay okay so his starting rank so he was ready pupil last turn so maybe he'll go up even more i'm curious to see what happens as he rank up I'm wondering if the armor gets better. And I'm also wondering what else we can see. We already got plus one rank, which is nice. Yeah, resolution is such a nice uh, ability to have that, you know, if I see more of these, I'm definitely going to recruit them. 
we have another character over here we got another water clock i wonder if it's on a new character we didn't get a new character this time Wang Shao leveled up again okay so plus research rates nice help us all in the long run recovery is also very nice armor on retinue commerce income boost i think i'm gonna go with this first extra research rate that should just help us out in the long run now these all these yellow turban ones are really nice i think i'm going to focus on the yellow turban skills first and just give up on some of these um regular skills that we've already seen a couple of times in all our other playthroughs although precision is really good because we're going to be heavily focused on range this is this is not important and this is decent We'll figure out which one we have to give up on a bit later. All right, so he encamped in our territory. So he's asking for it. We're going to wipe him out uh, right away. Oh, he ran. Still in our territory. So we should go after him, even though he's pulling us farther and farther away from Taishan. All right, maybe we get to kill another leader this time uh, there's no chance to capture him decisive victory low catch I think we're just gonna yeah he's not gonna duel us because he's a strategist so we're just gonna delegate this alright easy win Zanba. Uh, Zanba is a very uh, semi-famous general in the Three Kingdoms era. We're probably just going to release him. Or we could kill him. He doesn't have any items. I'd rather take the money. And I'll take money here. Alright. Tao Tian died. Didn't he have resiliency? How did he just die? Okay. Tao Ying is now the faction leader. Sure. All right, we don't have to worry about him for a while, hopefully. I think they have to pull out a new army, and then they have to march all the way up here. And their Cao Cao event should trigger, so they should focus their self on the west. Uh, we can head back to our Taishan and continue with our Kongrong focused target here. He marched north, so that bought, that bought us a little time. And we can just take care of Kongrong's territory going next. And we have a little bit of cash, finally. More food and commerce income here. Yeah, this one has the most discount because of all these. So this is most efficient to build here. So let's continue by building this out. We'll wait to build up Taishan once Dome becomes pretty much fully built, I guess. Okay, they're defending. We didn't get any new characters. Do we need to put a third general here? Scholar, healer. If we can get another healer, then I kind of want to put him into that army and then put a healer here. But we don't have one that's decent. He's not that good. So we're just going to continue here. All right. Han Fu declare war on Zhang Yang. Wang Kai declare war on Liu Dai. Sure. Wang Quan. Dong Zhuo has died. And Dong Min has died taken over no problem all right he's on march so if we fight him he can't run can we beat him though do, do we have reinforcement i think it's too far away to get reinforcement from the city so we'll be fighting fighting just with our range units he has one two three four units with shield Everyone else has no shield. Three generals, all level one. He can't duel. I think we can win this one. I mean, it can't be harder than Liu Bei's fight, so let's do it. We don't have any new items to do, so let's just go for this fight. Our AIs think we'll lose. Almost equal number of men. He does have four crossbow units, which outrange us, which could be an issue. All right, we'll figure it out on the battlefield. It's not like we're going to shy away from this fight, so let's go. 
Alrighty, we loaded up in here. Weather's dry, no effects. Very flat map too. Hmm. I have to think of a way to neutralize their crossbowmen's advantage range on us. I'm probably gonna have to have our generals go out and try to distract them again. Guan Hai is up for the draw because he has Disorient and these two generals have uh, buff abilities. <laughs> All we have are archers. This is hilarious. Uh, let's see. If they're coming straight, we're trying to pull them to the side. I don't think we have any fancy way to do this. We just gotta keep them all together so our buff buffs everyone. All right, that's the key because we have a range boost on our general. Huang Shao has this um, extra range damage boost. Maybe they're too far out. Yeah, these guys are too far out. Probably better if we stack them. <laughs> this might not work. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, no skirmish mode. We don't want them to run away. We want to keep the enemy off them by using our cavalry as distraction and as our general as distraction. Alright, let's hope it works. Let's go. I don't see the enemy. They might be behind that forest. Yeah, I don't know where they are. I'm gonna just trust that we have enough firepower so that if, like, say, enemy cavalry charges in, there's only one unit of cavalry. We can wipe them out before they hit us. Because we'll get absolutely devastated if we get charged at. I'm, I'm going to guess they're either in the forest or behind the forest. I need one group to distract them away, a portion of them away, and then another guy to guide them towards our firing range right here. The cavalry should go with him, because we need the cavalry in the fight. Ah, we found them. Okay. We found them. Let's see if we can grab a general away with us. He has a lot of stat on him. I think he can actually duel someone with the green dragon crescent blade. Alright, they put out their archers there. We might need to just shift this one over. Ah, there they are. Duel? Doesn't want to duel. Okay. Mm, I think we can rotate them up a little bit. Uh, wait, how do I do? Let me see. Lock group. Tilt. He has a bow on him? Wow, he's shooting at us. That's dirty. Are getting shot at. Alright guys, they are very stubborn. They're not coming out. Alright, he's coming out. Just because you want to shoot him. Dude, does he want to duel? No. Does he want to duel this weaker character? No. Okay, so we just charge him. He's out of he's out of ammo. Alright, 
I can just move them up a little bit. Is he just running back? What a coward. So Koron's plan is just to stay in this forest. I'm not happy about that. We're gonna shift ourselves over here next to that forest. Our archers should be no problem. This is who exactly we want to charge. All right, wait, wait, wait. Spear units. Gotta be careful who we're charging. Crossbow. That's our target. Ooh, ooh. I won't, we're gonna kill generals first. We can disorient him. Weak his, weaken his armor. And then murder him. Oh, here comes their cavalry. Not fun. Run to our archers. We're going to take a lot of hits by this cavalry right here. Come on, get into our range. Almost there. That's the edge. The general gave up. But I think we can wipe out their cavalry right here. Alright, break left, break right. Oh, they're not chasing anymore. Then we charge you. Oh, you want to retreat? Free hits, free hits. Ooh, ooh. Their archers are getting antsy here. That's a lot of crossbowmen. That didn't work out very well. I have to save our cavalry for more important missions a little bit later. Mm, this is very tricky. Coron's basically decided to not come out of that forest. We don't have any splash damage ability, which is really bad here. So it's not like we can just run in and kill a bunch of units with a splash damage. We have to somehow convince them to charge out. Gotta be careful here because there might be more spearmen right behind them. Right, like that. Which would be terrible. Avoid the spears. Sword's okay. Alright, getting surrounded by enemy units again. Pull back. Alright, just kill the general. Right, they're all stationary because we disoriented them. Now we can just try to chop him up as he stands here. He can't move for like 10 seconds. Guan Yu's sword is going to make short work of him. Is he dead? Kill him. Kill him. Guan Yu's sword right here. Ooh, another general. Him first, him first. 1,000. Alright, watch out, watch out. Don't want to walk, walk into all the spear units. Alright, 
Trying to shift these guys forward a little bit. I think we can take them. Right, but not with the general as well. Should also wait for abilities. Maybe this was too rash. Please chase us into our range. Then it will be all worth it. Fire? There we go. Wow. Stop running. Alright, stop shooting. We're wasting arrow now. How do I stop them? Alright, they're stopped. Good. We'll kill the other general. Alright, they're finally moving out. One, two, three. Because Coron's mad because we killed one of his generals. Alright, we can pull back a little bit. Let's see where we should charge our generals. We should definitely try to kill him. We can disorient a couple of these units just to kill him first. Coron's disabling our abilities. Uh, charge to the flank over here. Can we kill him faster? Alright, we need to get back to that crossbow unit. They're just killing us for free right now. Cross spearmen coming. Alright, we gotta pull out. We gotta loop around like that. He needs to come back and buff the damage. He's he rallied. Uh, we still can't fight him. Alright, they need to try to cut behind the rear. Same thing as them. Ignore the infantry. Go for the rear troop. Boosting their damage. Yeah, no one's gonna hit us. Hit that crossbow unit. All right, we got this. Perfect. If he keeps coming, I'll have him run after him. Crossbow unit. All right, someone will take care of Corner a little bit later. Actually, if they're within our archer range, we don't have to worry about them that much. We just have to kill the crossbow units outside of our archer's range. Alright, we got this. Go take care of Coral. Alright, so I guess archers is good enough to win this fight. We routed most of them already. It's just running them down now. Just Coron's left. He's routing. So chase and kill him. Alright. I'm going to cut this out. But I'm going to try to chase as many units as I can. Because we still want to defeat the rest of Coron's territory. So see y'all in the post-battle screen. Alrighty. 
pretty easy fight with Guan Yu and Liu Bei's weapon for sure. We got ourselves a heroic victory, even though I don't think I fought that particularly well in the beginning. I think I was too hopeful to lure them out and wasted a lot of time just kind of chasing and trying to lure them out. I think pulling the archers closer was better. And once we killed um, him right here and got him enraged and forced all the units out after he became enraged, it was a lot easier fight from that point on. We can just take the money. We have really good replenishment rate in our own territory. Let's hope it's a healer. Oh, it's a healer. Is it a good healer? Unbreakable healer. Oh, I like that. Physician. Okay. She also has an item on her. Starts out with recovery. That's that's wonderful. Peasantry. Okay, so we're gonna use her, add her to our army, and we're gonna move Guan Hai over here to be the veteran over there. That's just perfect. So Pei Wen Shao leveled up. Okay, I don't know if flaming shot's that good now because we can't get it until much later in the game. His tree So the yellow turban abilities for him are on the sides. And the center ones are the old abilities. Minus one construction time for where he stands. That's not bad. He should probably also get recovery because he'll be doing most of the fighting for us. Research rate. Hmm. 15 melee evasion is also quite good. Construction time. Yeah, let's equip. Let's get this on him because his army is going to be moving along. And then wherever he is taking new territories, we can speed up the construction time in those areas. Sounds like a decent enough plan. So Coron still has resiliency, so he'll bounce back next turn. We can't chase him. Yeah, so this is fine. We're healing, he's not. We can pull this army out and have him head over here. And then we'll recruit. Alright, who doesn't she get along with? Oh, she got she gets along with everyone. Yeah. All right, so she will be our frontline units. We'll keep these warriors, and then we'll pop some uh, spear units as well. Yeah, we have the money. Let's just do it. Perfect. So this army is all good to go to conquer the rest of the peninsula over here. Guan Hai can head over there as our defensive force in the north. I don't envision Tao Tian or Tao Ying now would do much to us down here. And plus, the Iron Mine is a very defensible position to begin with. Now, we did run out of money to upgrade stuff, but that's fine. And we can also kind of see what we need for future upgrades. So this is level 4 state workshop. Okay. Maybe we'll go for that a little bit later. We can still build up some of these commanderies first as we go along. Next turn, once we get some money, we can definitely build stuff here uh, cheaply and quickly now that we have the skill unlocked on Pei Ren Shao. Uh, we can just continue. We can get rid of him now because we don't need him. He doesn't bring us anything. All right, goodbye. Um, what weapon do you use? Ah, you also can use the mace. But maybe the glaive is better for you? Charge damage? Faster attack rate. Uh, maybe the 
glaive for now. We might switch you up later. Higher instinct. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Let's continue. Alright. Alright, Gong Sun Zan declare war on Han Fu. This might be his first initial event. So I'm envisioning Yuan Shao and Gong Sun Zan going to be in a war very soon. Traitor. It's not like we have a trade route. But we can definitely use it to boost stats. Alright, let's get him over there quickly. Yes, we want them to merge. Now who should... Ooh, there's a conflict here. That's fine. They can be rivals. Traitor. Is it on a new character? Yep, it's on a new character. Another veteran. Sorcerer. Post-battle loot when present. Well, he's not going to be present, is he? He's decent. We can keep him. We don't need this on him. He can actually use it because he's carrying a lot of archers with him. And she can use more instinct because I plan to use her to fight. Alright, now we can actually take the capital of Koro away from him. It's just a town. I think we can take it without any issues. Yep, decisive victory. We're just going to delegate this to save time. Alright, let's see who we get. Another healer. Bright. Why can't it be burnt? Musician. Plus six morale. Plus 10% campaign movement range. Ooh, this is the new reach. Effortless flow. We'll keep her for now, even though I don't know if she'll be useful a bit later. She's angry because of lack of purpose. Well, I can't do anything about that. We just have to raise our uh, satisfaction through our reforms, I guess. Yes. Coron has escaped north. We'll go after him next turn. This is very interesting. So usually when you attack yellow turban factions as a normal faction in the base game, you get their buildings, right? You get yellow turban buildings and you have to convert them. But somehow when I attacked Beihai, who definitely had normal buildings beforehand, they automatically become converted to our buildings. That's that's quite nice actually. So the buildings we have is now farmer housing and farming. So peasantry income. Definitely good. Good choice of buildings. We can just upgrade the town. It takes just one turn because of the bonuses we have. That's quite nice. Okay. So we're gonna go after him next turn. Do we have to do anything? No, she's just angry. Yuan Shao is still staring us down, but I think he should go this way. That's what he usually does. Alright, let's continue to expand and build our economy. Let's continue to chase after Konro. Kind of want to kill him. Alright, this is the first Han faction, or Han favorite faction. Han Fu, who is giving us a peace deal. Uh, these guys usually don't negotiate with us. Like, there's no way to ask for trade and stuff because our rank is not high enough. So the only thing we can get out of them are trade, our peace. So we'll take it. I mean, it's not like he's bothering us, but we'll take a peace deal whenever we're offered one. All right, the regular Yellow Turban Rebellions are destroyed. They'll pop up later once people mismanage the public order. Uh, we signed our first peace treaty. We got another reform done. Great. And our relationship deepens with our healer, uh, Duan Zhen Yue. We can look at the exact characters a little bit later. She hasn't ranked up yet, even though our relationship deepened. Hopefully she'll rank up a bit later. Alright, Koron is somewhere in this forest. He's hiding. But we'll grab the trade port. So he can't heal. Oh, he, he raised the full stack. He went all in. Okay, 
Too bad he can't heal that stat because we'll be taking that commander from him. Alright, new character. These are endless. Another new character. Wow. Okay. Another musician with a different face. Another effortless flow. Decent. Yeah, someone commented on my video earlier that I don't need to fire all of them. Even if they're bad. Philosopher is good. Philosopher 5% research rate. Herdsmen for free. Okay. We'll keep them until they become a problem. Wow, he really did win all in. 51 year old? I guess she just happens to be the same surname as Kong. There's no way this is re related. Doesn't get a family member. Okay. So he's doomed. Okay, he can't heal. It's my territory. Alright. Let's get a new reform. I want to destroy Koron in this episode. We really need satisfaction now. Now it's only three turns at 135%, which is good. We're speeding things up. Satisfaction is needed because we're trying to keep a whole huge roster of characters. All right, so now we're standing inside of Taishan, so Taishan's speed is also quicker. But how come this is four turns to upgrade? That was just one turn. I guess it's local commandery, so we can only this is only faster. And we need to be standing here if we want to speed up these. That's a little tricky. I will upgrade this. And we'll go after him soon. So at the same time as we're getting free characters, there are also tons of characters pouring in over here. Oh, this guy has good items, but we don't have enough money. Next turn, next turn. Okay. Next turn it is. Alright. Uh, Yuan Shao formed a coalition with Han Fu. Civil War. Okay. So Yuan Shao left. We're still going to keep this army here. It's not very expensive. We can afford it. And we can try to grab that character right here. He's also a healer. Spy Master. Uh, it's not that useful. No one's going to be spying us. Okay, maybe we won't get him just because it's not that useful. Then it's basically just a silver weapon that we can trade for um, uh, for deals, basically. Alright, maybe we just won't get him. Yeah, we're good. He's threatening our city over here. We can't reach him actually. So let's kill him and end our episode. I think that's that's the good place to end with Koron's death. And then we can take over the livestock farm uh, next episode and just completely wipe Koron off the map and take over the peninsula. So things are going super smoothly. Let's end with Koron's death here. close victory. Alright, we'll fight this on the battlefield to see if we can give him a proper death. Uh, it's not going to be terribly exciting, but we'll see. Alright, welcome to the place that Koron will die in. He picked this very clear area to stand, which is nice because then the tree won't obstruct our range units. I'm just going to pile them together so they can all receive the buff. From Huang Shao. Yep. And then we have a front line this time. Uh, these guys are better against archers. 50%. So we're going to put them in the front. These guys are anti-cavalry. So we're going to put them to the side. Even though I'm not even sure if they have cavalry. Uh, most AI in this situation I think will suicidally run towards us. That's my prediction. Let's see if it's actually true. We can actually hide our cavalry. These guys can actually go and fight. She has a really strong uh, ability here. 50, minus 50 morale is really insane. And then there's also a splash damage on this. I can see her potential in this army going forward. Uh, she could have used uh, Zhang Fei's spear, but we didn't get it. So maybe in the future. Suicide to us. Come, march to your death. See, here they come. 
when he had a superior force. Oh no, they just ah, uh, they just tilted. Ah, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, we'll keep the formation the same and just walk towards them. Let's hurry this part up. Oh, they're willing to duel us. I'm down to get a couple of duels started. Who's weaker? They're both pretty high level, actually. Okay, so let's get a duel started with Pei Wen Shao because he actually has good weapons. Here, we challenge you. She's friends? Wait, we can see that a little bit later. Close relative. Wow. So she so she is related to Coral. Well, Nemesis, because we're Nemesis. Close relative and rival. We get the same buffs, right? We get the Nemesis buff as well. We get friends from our their relationship, and we get Othorn from their relationship. So we're quite tough as well. Let's reduce his armor. I guess we won't rush the fight. We'll watch the duel first. Guan Yu's weapon in action. Minus 15% ability recharge rate. That's not bad. Well, let's do this. Now we're 100% extra melee evasion. And then he's reduced 100% melee evasion and armor. It's really awesome. Like, yeah, he's dead. Execute him. Oh, or, or suffocate him. Whichever way you like. Now this is the one where nobody cares. Not even friends with them. But his unit's already wavering. Let's get another duel started. The suicidal charge has commenced. After she dies, though, the problem is that we're super close to where they are. They're just going to rush us. So we have to walk up. Ooh, we're not unit locked. Alright, let's regroup this to two. Lock it. Let's start the fighting so we don't get killed right away afterward. We can go mess up their morale right now. 65% range block chance, not bad. We'll take some crossbow shots for the guys. Not within ranger though. There we go. Oh, he dies so fast. We didn't even see how we killed her. I'll pull it through the gut. Oh, maybe she lost a foot. Did she lose a foot? No, just through the gut. Coron's mad. Alright, we'll just pull back. Charge into a non-spear unit and then release, unleash your ability. Wait, why is she chasing? Wait, I'm telling her to go into a non-spear unit, but she's not listening. There we go. Ah, uh, we can't use it because Coron locks abilities. Hmm, that's annoying. Alright, whatever. We'll just go after the range units. How come we can use abilities though? Even though Coron locks abilities. Alright, we can still use them. Interesting. Once we get Coron routing, I kind of want to see this effect, but I don't think we'll get a chance to. It's not even a fair fight. Alright, send him to his graves. Here. 
Huang Shao can join them. The recovery is really strong too, because she see that she's always healing. Can we not shoot at our own guys? Alright, you guys had enough fun. There we go. Alright. I don't think we need to chase the rest of them. They're on march. So they're going to get wiped. Let's claim victory. We just need to kill Koro. Alrighty. Sword to the face. He might have lived. Resiliency. Yep. He recovered the resiliency. Oh, we got his relative though. Do we get the bow? Ah, uh, I want the bow. I'm assuming she's his wife. Anyways, execute. We'll take the axe. Another new character. This is ridiculous. Guan Jingzhen. Healthy. Nice. Unbreakable. Ooh, I like that. I like that the best. Another 10% research rate. That's amazing. Okay. Coron's still alive, but I think this is a good ending place for our episode. It's not like we can actually wipe him out uh, this episode completely. Uh, we did kill another legendary lord. Uh, we killed Tao Tian this episode. So Tao Ying's now the new faction leader. So we're at a pretty good pace. Liu Bei last episode, Tao Tian this episode, and Coron definitely next episode. And we're just going to progressively take over this peninsula right here, uh, the Shandong Peninsula. And then we're going to head down south. And I really want to see what the yellow turban version of the temple would boost. Because uh, the normal in-game one boosts 10 satisfaction. That would be really helpful. That kind of negates the whole legendary difficulty setting uh, in terms of satisfaction. Or it could actually give us research rate, which is not bad uh, either. Uh, if we look at our reform tree we're at 145 now i could see it go way up depending on our roster and because of these really bad satisfaction that's going on here we actually have a pretty bad um debuff going on so we might get rid of some of these characters because the only thing i can do to boost her satisfaction is give her items or summon her on the field which would get rid of lack of purpose I kind of want to keep her though. The 6% commerce is nice. She has one mi minus one mustering turn. Distinguished, intimidated. She's okay actually. So what I'm going to do with her is give her a satisfaction boost through items and then summon her on the battlefield so she can not be um, doing nothing and being angry with me. Hao Junping. Okay, where is she? Where are you? Here you are. Cost us a thousand gold. And we're gonna get rid of these guys to save us 200 gold per turn. Alright, so that's our plan to fix satisfaction for now. And I hope she can bounce back to the point where we don't have this debuff. Because it's not nice to be not increasing our level. And that's pretty much wraps up our episode we got a new general we looked at her already anyways going forward we're just going to continue to expand like i said and it seems very easy uh we're holding yuan shao back who's not even expanding to the Han empire territories right now so we'll come back and see how we do going forward but i envision this to be a pretty smooth campaign very enjoyable one still learning a lot about the buffs that you get from different characters with the yellow turbans still want to find out about what some of the new uh higher upgraded version of the yellow turban units do because you actually get a nice unit variety when playing the yellow turbans versus the base game where you're so familiar with all the units 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and come back next time. So see you then. Bye.